Cowabunga toy fans, D21 Beast Rob here, and today we are looking at this massive Mega Bloks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classic party wagon playset. Over 531 pieces in this bad boy, and this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to get my hands on. Now the box does mention this is part of the collector series set of Ninja Turtle Mega Bloks figures, so there will be a metal shell on the Michelangelo figure that's included. And you can see here in the upper right we do get a Michelangelo, an April O'Neil, a shredder, and then some accessories, even a slice of pizza. But as you can see here, we do have some nice packaging art. I love the image of the party wagon just rolling forward with Shredder and Michelangelo duking it out on top. And on the lower left, we got a classic looking lineup of the four brothers. They've even added the musculature design to the lettering for the modern Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle logo. Looking at the top of the packaging, they even included some cool retro images of Shredder and April O'Neil along with another image of Michelangelo. The reverse side of this packaging does actually show some pretty cool comic book art on the left hand side, building the mood for this playset. We've also got some great color images showing you how you can interact with the party wagon. Then the bottom of the packaging does show off the rest of the turtle figures in this classic collector line. And now that I've got this party wagon, I'm probably going to want to get my hands on a Donatello and a Leonardo. Alright shellheads, let's get this love letter to my childhood out of the box and see what it's all about. Alright toy fans, here we have these Mega Bloks out of the package and fully assembled, and before we take a look at the van of the hour, let's take a look at the minifigures that come included. These are some really cool minifigures. On the left we've got Shredder and he's got some nice snap-on armor pieces, lots of color detail on this figure, I'm really impressed with all the separate pieces they've used to put them together. Then we've got April O'Neil in her classic yellow jumpsuit, nice paint applications on the face and on her waist and shoes. Then we move on to Michelangelo, the only Ninja Turtle you're getting with this set. He's got soft rubbery pads around his wrist, elbows, and knees, and they do not hinder his articulation at all. And he's got a great soft rubbery belt with his M initial on the belt buckle. Unfortunately, my Michelangelo's belt was ripped right out of the packaging. I suppose the little turtle fan in my household was just a little too anxious to get his hands on him. Now this Michelangelo figure is very similar to the other collector-themed classic turtle lines from Mega Bloks currently available. As we compare him to the collectible Raphael, you can see that they stand in the same scale together. And just like we saw with the individually released Collector Series Raphael Mega Block figure, Michelangelo also has a metallic shell on his back. April O'Neil comes with some really cool accessories in this set. In her right hand, she's got the classic animated series Turtle Com that all the turtles would carry around. And in her other hand, she's got that classic 80s style video camera, which she was always trying to get the scoop with. All three of these minifigures do come with collectible sewer lid display stands. And Shredder's got a really nice soft goods purple cape that's a bit wrinkled from the packaging. And Mega Bloks even treated us to a slice of pizza in this box set. It's even got a Building Blocks compatible hole on the back of it. And now the moment you've been waiting for, we've got the classic party wagon. Now I'm no expert of construction block sets, but this thing took me about two hours to put together, and when I first pulled it out of its box, it came in at least six or seven different packages, as well as two large manuals. So when you pick this up, just make sure you've got time to sit down and put it together. But once you do have it fully put together, this is what we're looking at. This beautiful recreation of that 1980s animated series that ran into the 90s, Classic Party Wagon. Or Turtle Man if you prefer. I do believe it went by both names on the animated series. But I love the detail that's been given to the front of this vehicle. We've got the gritted teeth on the bumper just like we remember from the cartoon. And even the sewer lid nose for the front of the car that says Turtles on it. Some nice headlights with the decals painted on them. The teeth are actually decals as well. There were actually no stickers that I had to place on this vehicle as I put it together. We've got these movable uh, laser guns at the top of the van just like we saw from the show. The siren light that I don't know if they ever really used that but it was always there. There's nice sort of turtle shell paddle, or paneling on the side of the vehicle as well as on the roof of the vehicle we've got that same sort of turtle paneling. And as we rotate it around you're going to see great tires that roll back and forth. Those are rubber tires. We've got little handles on the back as well as a nice sort of homage to the creation of the TV show. It says TMNT 1987 there. But this is really just an impressive looking vehicle. I mean, really, it's just a joy for me to be able to look at this thing from every different angle. Mega Bloks chose to go with sort of a champagne gold color brick scheme, and I think that color choice really makes this vehicle pop. But hey, once you're done getting all misty-eyed looking at this vehicle, there are several really cool interactive features to show off. The first one we'll mention here is this side panel door. Just like we saw in the animated series and on the original Turtle Van toy, the side can come down and you have a turtle that can be positioned on the door. So while it's rolling into action, you've got a guy who's ready to take some swipes at any foot soldiers that are attempting to crowd the vehicle. Pretty cool. But as we rotate the vehicle around, we have another sort of side panel door. Again, just like we saw on the original toy, as it folds out, there is a gun turret on this side of the vehicle. That's got a gun that can actually move forward and backward. And you can fit a little Mega Box figure behind that and then hit the switch and a missile goes flying. 
just like that. As we rotate the vehicle around some more, you're gonna see that there are a set of double doors on the back of the turtle van, and they've got little handles on them. You can go ahead and pull those open, and inside, we've got a rack to hold the skateboard from Michelangelo, as well as an actual computer station, which seems to be ripped right out of the animated series. And the roof is removable so we can get a better look at it. Just has a couple of pegs holding it on. And you'll see in the back here there is a radar screen. There's actually a screen that seems to be searching for different villains. There is a keyboard and even a picture of Ace Duck straight out of the animated series, which is awesome. Hopefully that means Megablox is going to make an Ace Duck minifigure. Who knows, but it's really nice attention to detail. Definitely something for the hardcore fans who pick up this set. And on the other side, we've even got some weapon storage. And you can see currently we've got a couple extra missiles that plug into that gun that folds out of the side of the van. Lastly, the top of the cab is also removable. Again, just a couple of pegs holding it into place. And inside, you can see we do have Michelangelo and April O'Neil sitting in the uh, cockpit, I guess, or the front of the cab, ready to drive around and head into action. Now, there are actually some doors that fold out on this as well, which is a really nice touch. Either side has some removable doors, and they just close right back in very nicely. There's also some side view mirrors that you can rotate to your liking. Overall, Megablox did a truly incredible job recreating this classic vehicle in brick block form. And as awesome as all of these interactive features are, Megablox also made sure it was easy to put everything back to normal. It's pretty easy to just go ahead and fold this side door in, and we can go ahead and fold in the other side with the gun, just make sure it's folded back. We can close the doors pretty easily here on the back, and then replacing the roof is super easy. We'll get the larger piece here. Like I said, it just attaches by a couple of pegs on top. There we go, it's in place. Make sure the uh, cannons are out of the way, and you can put the top of the cab back on, and our turtle heroes are ready to roll. Now, if you're like me, you've probably been a Ninja Turtle fan for a decent amount of time, and you've got several versions of the Ninja Turtles available in different sizes. And naturally, you probably want to know how compatible your collection is with this turtle van. Well, I've got some great news for you. Not only does this party wagon fit in great scale with the figures that are included, but it also works on your slightly larger Megablox Nickelodeon Ninja Turtle figures. I was able to fit all four turtles quite comfortably inside both the cab and the rear of this vehicle. So if those are the turtle minifigures you've been collecting, rest assured, this van will work for you. But what about Minimate collectors? I'm a huge Minimate collector myself. I was very curious to see how these were going to fit in, and I was elated to see that they also work really well with this turtle van. It's worth noting that fitting the minifigures into the cab of the van is a bit tight, but the turtles fit wonderfully anywhere else you want to place them on this vehicle. Now, I don't actually have any of the LEGO branded Ninja Turtle minifigures, but based on the size comparison we're looking at here, I would have to assume they would fit, but the van might be just a bit large for them. Your personal mileage may vary, but if you got the minifigures, I say give it a shot. And that's my review, Toy Fans. From the design, to the construction, the included minifigures, and hey, even the nostalgia factor. For my money, this classic Megablox party wagon is definitely $50 well spent. If you're a fan and you've got the cash, definitely check it out. Thanks for watching, Toy Fans. This review was a real joy for me to work on. And if you guys had as much fun as I did, please do me a big favor and give this video a big thumbs up. You can always keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast, and I'll see you guys next time. Cowabunga!